I'm going to start this process by building the jewel thief and you can see one step at a time exactly how I put it together and begin to make the second the second level. So here's a pretty blank breadboard. Now I've put in this little this little uh, 1k pot. Uh, the hole over on this side is going to attach to the base of the transistor and the hole over on this side is going to go into one of the sides, one of the free ends of the toroid. So now I've put the transistor in place. This this is the collector, the center, the center of the 2N3904 is the base. The emitter is over here and is going to be into the negative battery. And now the light is in place. This side goes to the collector, this side goes to the emitter. So this is negative two. Now I've put in the toroid. Here's the X tree. Here's the twisted pair of the 1111. This is the emitter side. It doesn't really matter until you do it. Once you define it, it's there. The base. This is the base. So now that's that's ready. That's a jewel thief. And here's a little bit of proof that that's a jewel thief. Okay. There's a jewel thief. Just an ordinary jewel thief. Now these spiders out of here. These are the two. These are the two secondaries. This is 74 turns, this little red one. Oh, you can't see it. I know you can't see it. That's 74 turns, and over here is 21 turns. This is a green one. So, if you can see, I've put in the, I put in the light. I have connected this and this, oh. there's the negative probe, there's the positive probe of this, uh, of the scope. So I wanted to show you the scope um, when this is in with the, with the light on, the whole deal here. So I have the, the, the 10x probe on. Uh, this is reading 39 and a half or so volts peak to peak. and. Um, this is across that red secondary, that secondary that has um, 74 turns on it, uh, with the battery at about one and a half, 1.2 volts. Now I'm going to just, while you're looking at that, I'm going to pull out the light. Ooh, look at that. hundred and seven volts. So the light's the thief. Remember that. The light is the thief. So with the battery already in place, I'm going to light up these lights. Uh, one of the, let's see, one of the ends is over here. Oopsie, can't see that at all. One of the ends. is over here. And the other end is going to have to be on right over here on this side of this LED. They're all in series, ten of them. There. Look at that. This final time I've added three LEDs that'll be lit by the green secondary and temporarily three uh, and then I've added two resistors. Uh, this one is 10 ohm, this is 33 ohm. This is the one I'll be using most most of the time. Yeah, I'd like to show you what the scope says about this green secondary before it gets 
it before it gets any lights on it. So I'm going to put it into the main battery place. And oh yeah, the lights in the way. And it's it says 47. Is that better? It says 47 volts. Now I'm going to take that down and I'm going to put it into the just so you see it. That says 30, 31 volts. That's the with the 10 ohm resistor. And here it is, 14 volts. 14 volts with the 33 ohm resistor. Now it says 14 volts and I'm going to make it a little higher and look over there and you can see something like 166 kilohertz between those markers. Can you see where I've set the markers? So that's the frequency right now of the green 21 turn secondary. There are no lights on in the system at all, just the battery at the 33 ohm resistor. Now I've turned a few lights on. These are the 10 lights. What I've done is I've put the, the 33 ohm resistor in place here in the battery, and the 10 I've, I've put in place the 74 turn secondary. And it's lighting those LEDs very, very dimly. And the scope now says 829 or something on the same frequency. Now here's what I want to show you. This is what's interesting here. The, uh, the battery is at the low level. It's at the 33 ohm, uh, the resistor in there. Those lights are on. If I put the other lights on, They take turns. I can't put the two on at the same time. Uh, I'm having trouble with this breadboard. But so, see, that can, those can go on or those can go on. But they don't seem to go on at the same time. And that's the issue with this multiple circuits from the secondary. That's the point. That's what I'm grappling with here. So, everything's ready and I can show you some of the solutions that I've come up with.